I will call our meeting to order. Please stand to salute the flag. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please stand for a moment of silence. Thank you. Roll call. For the last time this year, Chairman Quackenbush. Present. Legislator Diamond. Present. Legislator White. <coughs> Legislator Beniak. Here. Legislator Duchesne. Here. Legislator Wheeler. Here. Legislator Isabel. Here. Legislator Patel. Here. Legislator Kelly. Present. Privilege of the floor. Public comment. Anyone from the public wishing to speak? Hearing none. I'd just like to open the meeting tonight. Uh, wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. I, uh, I guess what I'd like to also say is I think that uh, December 15th last year, I wouldn't think that we would be this far ahead of the game our first year into it. And I want to commend each and every one of you for all your hard work. I think you've done a great job uh, in our first year and uh, all the staff that we have, Doug, Cheryl, and, and I want to really, uh, I know he, he just left, but Matt Austin Ford, I think is our county executive, our first county executive has done an outstanding job um, in leading us, uh, in leading this county in our first year of existence. So I hope that we can, uh, well, I know Matt used to say at the beginning, at, at the beginning of it all, he said, well, the honeymoon is, uh, is just begun and, you know, he's waiting for the honeymoon to get over. And you know what? I think the honeymoon's been over for a long time. Uh, the marriage uh, already started. Uh, it's committed. Everybody's doing, I think, the right thing and, and the right job. And uh, I, anyway, I commend him for that and, and all of you as well. Approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. We have none because we just had our meeting and Cheryl's not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Approval of the budgetary transfers. Motion. Motion. Bob, uh, Terry, and Bob. Discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain. Um, unfinished business. We have none. New business. Just want to remind you that um, resolution 263. We're going to be skipping from 62 to 64 because we already did 263 at the uh, at the other meeting. That was the uh, animal control. Animal control. Animal control. So, all right, resolution 259. It's a resolution amending the 2014 operating budget. We were in Diamond. We're the sponsors. Discussion on 259. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. That carries. Resolution 260 is a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement with transportation of Fulton County for Fulton County veterans <coughs> sponsors, Pertel and Wheeler. Discussion on 260. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain. That carries. Resolution authorizing the county executive to sign children with the special uh, health care needs contract sponsors, Pertel and Wheeler. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, against, abstain. That carries. Resolution 262 is a resolution appointing members to the Committee on County Roadways. Uh, supervi oh, supervisors, I'm still at it, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> legislators Wheeler and Whites. Discussion? I'd just like to say this is a lucky night for Supervisor Sullivan. He gets appointed to two committees tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> lucky you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you for serving. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain. That carries. Uh, resolution 264 is a resolution appointing member to the Planning Board District 6. We need a sponsor in a second. Second. Nope. Barb. Discussion on 264. Does that need a. I don't have the resolution in front of me. I'm sorry. Does it need a mm -hmm. amendment? No, it's there. We're good. Okay. You just missed all the good things I said about you, Matt. <laughs> anyway, watch it on the tape. <laughs> uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. 
That carries 265 resolution approving final Montgomery County Health Insurance Trust Dissolution Plan. I would like to sponsor that as the president. Joe, you're on there. You're sponsoring it with me. We had our last meeting. Um, discussion, just to let you know, this is the final resolution needed. All money has been dispersed with the exception of, Joe, help me out, 30000 dollars $30, $40, $40, which is just, and once the final bills are tallied, which aren't much, that'll be disturbed between the city. The city has the same resolution. I believe they're trying to get it on for tonight. Once we do this, done deal, over with. Um, Sean, anything to add? Am I? Okay, Sean is on with us, so. I would look for full board on this. Full board. Full board. All in favor, good? Yeah. Good, see you later. 266, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a contract General liability and other pertinent insurance coverage. We were White's sponsors. Discussion on 266. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. Carries 267 as a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign renewal agreement with HM Life Insurance Company in New York. Isabella and we are the sponsors. Discussion on 268. I'm sorry, 267. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain. That carries resolution 268 is resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement, third party drug and alcohol and CDL testing administration with Eastern Medical Support. Sponsors were Whites and Wheeler. Discussion on 268. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. That carries 269 as a resolution authorizing county executive to sign agreement for Kronos time clock maintenance. M and M Hayes sponsors were Whites and Kelly. Discussion on 269. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Against, abstain. That carries resolution 270. Resolution amending the 2014 operating budget. Dis uh, discussion. Right. The sponsors were Weaver and Isabel. Discussion on 270. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Against, abstain. That carries 271 as a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement with IQS um, sponsors, Wheeler and Beniac. Discussion on 271. Harry? I, I, Mark. Can I just have, I should have said this in the committee, but can I just have uh, in the resolved after uh, records management system contract? insert which with IQS? Uh, just those three letters? Whoever the company is, I assume. Mm -hmm. With IQS. Yeah. With IQS? Mm -hmm. Can that be a typo? Or sure. Or yeah. what? Is, is it a member or can we just do a typo? Okay. Typo? Okay. It's, it's in the heading, so. All right. Should be. Uh, any further discussion on 271? Uh, if not, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain? That carries. 272. Resolution establishing a new rate of housing inmates. Isabel and we were the sponsors. Discussion on 272. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain. That carries 273. Resolution appointing member to the audit committee. Oh, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Resolution approving abstract of audit <coughs> claims. Uh, we were Patel were the sponsors. Discussion on 273. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain. That carries 274 as a resolution appointing a member to the audit committee. Uh, Leor Beniak with the sponsors. Discussion on 274. Thank you, Joe. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. Carries. Resolution 275 is a resolution approving relevy of delinquent school taxes, village tax, water rents, and sewer taxes. Leor and Pertel with the sponsors. Discussion on 275. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. That carries. 276 is a resolution adopting introductory local law H of 2014, a local law to establish a motor vehicle use fee in Montgomery County, Office of the Legislature, Quackenbush Diamond were the sponsors. Discussion on 276. No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? No. Brian and Bob. 
Martin is abstaining. Everyone else, yes? Pass? Yes. <coughs> resolution 277 is a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement, Office for the Aging. Uh, Pertel Wheeler were the sponsors of 277 discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain, I carry. Resolution 278 is a resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement with Soil Conservation District. Wheeler and Beniac were the sponsors. Discussion on 278. Just a typo. The, the, the title should say Soil and Water Conservation District, not just Soil. Okay. On 278, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. That carries 279 as a resolution amending the 2014 operating budget. Uh, sponsors were Isabel and Wheeler. <coughs> Discussion on 279. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. Carries. Resolution adopting, this is resolution 280, I'm sorry, adopting the 2015 to 2020 capital program. Sponsors, Wheeler and Beniac. Discussion on 280. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain, that carries. Resolution 281. Uh, resolution, a bond resolution of the County of Montgomery, New York, dated December 16, 2014, authorizing the construction of a new wing for the public safety facility of the county, estimating the aggregate cost thereof to be 3.5 million, appropriately appropriating set amount, therefore, and authorizing the issues issuance of $3.5 million serial bonds of the county to finance said cost. Sponsors, Quackenbush, Isabel, discussion on 281. Full board? Full board. 282, bond resolution of the county of Montgomery, New York, dated December 16th, 2014, <coughs> authorizing the acquisition of a new emergency rate system for the county estimating the aggregate cost thereof to be 2.8 million appropriating set amount thereafter or therefore and authorizing the issuance of 2.8 million in serial bonds of the county to finance that cost sponsors Isabel and Wheeler discussion on 282 hearing none full board resolution 283 is a resolution appointing Democratic Election Commissioner Board of Elections sponsor on 283 was Beniac Pertel. Discussion? Hearing none with the abstention of Duke. All others, full board? Full board. Full board. <laughs> resolution 284. Is that right? You said, sure. Resolution uh, 284 is a resolution confirming appointments to the Montgomery County Ethics Board, Whites and Kelly. Sponsors of 284. Discussion? Could you read the names just for everybody that's pressing in? You really put me on the spot here, Joe. I don't have it in front here. Okay. Douglas Landon, Robert McMahon, Robert Sullivan, Michael McKenney, and James Park. I'm just going to say something about, they're all good guys, I just want to say something about Mike McKenney. He's always been very much involved in local politics, and I'm glad to see that he's on that. Yeah, good, great guy. Yeah. Okay, um, any further discussion on 284? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against, abstain, that carries. Resolution setting the date and time of the organizational meeting. Uh, res resolution 285 sponsors were Kelly and Whites. Uh, the date and time, discussion, the date and time will be 11, 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. January 1st, 2015. Any further discussion? Uh, full board. Full board. Good. Yes. Resolution 286, resolution authorizing priority waste water treatment plant project, critical maintenance, uh, FMCC. Uh, we are Isabel were the sponsors of 286. Discussion on 286. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, abstain. That carries resolution 287, resolution authorizing student union improvements project. We were Isabel were the sponsors of 287 discussion on 287. Chair, I just would say uh, 
And when I attended the FMCC, that's where I spent most of my time, so I'm glad there you go. And you are a pro union. <laughs> pro union guy. All right. Any further discussion on 287? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, against, abstain. That carries last resolution of the year is 288. Resolution authorizing priority campus safety project, critical maintenance project. We are and Isabel were the sponsors. Discussion on 288? I just, I just want to follow it up with Roy. You've done an amazing job. The college is doing wonderful. Every event I've attended there is, it gets better and better. So I commend you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, any further discussion on 288? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, against, abstain, that carries. Um, other? My only question. Oh. Under the vehicle use tax and committee, you added the uh, uh, amendment, right? and the uh, description of what the revenues are to be. But it's not in the system, but right. it's... Just making sure it has. Okay. <laughs> that's how it gets done. It just got to get done. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, just, you know, the two last things that we were discussing before we adjourned that um, I'd like some sort of direction on so that, you know, it doesn't, we don't need to discuss it on the first is where to put all insurances, whether to combine them under finance or to have them in their where they've been, um, and, and also um, what to do with committees. I think we've ruled out committees of the whole, um, but whether to keep them at five, um, put them at three, or eliminate them altogether. Um, because once that decision's made, I can make those changes and uh, and have that ready for the first. I'll actually I'll email it out to you probably within the end of the week, so you can take a look at it. And if there's any last concerns, they can always be communicated by email. Can I, can I just say that if we if we have it at five, at least five opens it up to a consensus. There's more of an opportunity to having m more of a fractions, if you will, more of an opportunity for more, so communications can be more open. So that's what we want. We want to be able to serve Montgomery County to the best of the ability. So, so I would I would support five more than three. Um, well, well, I, uh, I do think we need to have more workshop settings. Uh, so that we can better flush out some some of the issues that are facing the Montgomery County. Uh, at the same time, I, I think that even though there's potential for a committee of uh, five to really control the whole direction of something, that really hasn't happened too much this year on, on issues that, that have been of great importance. You know, we have the uh, when we had the hair off auction, you know, we, we met a lot about that. Our committee was kind of fractured. Yeah. We did a motion to reconsider, you know. A, a lot of, uh, I think also that, that the rules of procedure as current, the ones that are current, as well as the proposed, offer the committee structure the ability to form these subcommittees so that they can have these workshop settings where you can join across, you know, I may not sit on uh, Duke's committee, but I could be invited to that subcommittee so that we can get um, perspective um, and, and have a, a, a more personal relationship to to, uh, to uh, design legislation. I hope that some of you will reconsider because having a committee of five absolutely minimizes the, the people who are not on the committee and when they show up to a meeting that's where an issue has already been decided and then to pretend to vote on it one way or the other as if it makes a difference I think there's just something fundamentally wrong with that so I would I would I would like to see one way or the other either three or or the committee of the whole or the workshops uh, uh, committee of the whole workshops would be, would be fine 
but, but to absolutely minimize people who are not on committees uh, so that their vote doesn't matter, uh, doesn't, doesn't have cause for them to show up uh, even when, when the time comes. Ryan and then Martin. I guess since I'm on the other side now, I'll, I'll, I, I would agree with that 100%. Uh, do, I really don't, with a five member committee, it just seems um, like an odd way of doing it coming 12 months in now. And, you know, I think we can have committee of the whole whenever, called it the chairman's request, um, you know, to have these sort of nine person discussions. Um, but to me, and after you know, giving us some thought of going into it and coming up with these two alternatives, um, or this alternative of three, I think having either three or no committees at all would be the only two things I could, I could really wholeheartedly support. Because having a committee of the whole, you're rehashing it twice. Having a committee of five, um, you know, we've got the situation we've got now, which really is not, it's not great. And it's not terrible, but it sort of it defeats the purpose of a committee, in my point of view. You know, we're just we're really rehashing it. And if all five on a committee agree, why why react on that? Take take further action on that because if those five agree, it's all said and done. Um, so I guess to me, it would I I would really generally either support a committee of three or no committees altogether. My fear, I understand the, the whole um, perception of, of the, the quorum of the legislature currently is here in committees, uh, with a five-person committee or the full uh, committee, a committee of a whole for budget and finance. My only fear is if we go down to three, will few legislators show up at these committee meetings because they're supposed to be informative. You know, I just don't. I just don't want people to, you know, take take the back seat and oh, I'm not on the committee and not show up because it's only three people. Well, let me say in response to that, that that I did show up at a committee I was not on and was not allowed to speak during the process. And you may recall that. I, I don't think everybody. Okay, Barbara, Bob, Joe. Okay. I would allow anyone to speak at any time, but one thing I would be afraid of with um, three people is a couple different points. One, and whatever the majority would decide, I would go along with. But I think I have some of the same train of thoughts that Martin does. Um, but if you think of three people in, in the committee deciding it, then the rest of the group could make the decision. Could be one train of thought. Um, if if they are not included, but if would they would more be um, have an incentive to come to the meeting and to um, participate if there's only three members. If there's just three, is the point of that that more members of the legislature would be um, would participate? If that's it, if if the reason to reduce the members of the committee is to get more to participate, that's one way to get me to, to join in. Um, absolutely, because the point in having more was to get more to participate, but if the logic was we were excluding people and that's what was so offensive, then that was never my intent. I, that's why I would be on board with the three. Um, so I, I can see the logic in both the three and the five. However, the nine member, we can come to the meeting of the minds. Um, uh, oh, you know. I'm done. Bob and then Joe. I, I think the risk of five is that, you know, whatever is coming through the committee is paid to complete when it comes time for the, the, the meeting. It's already decided. It's got enough support to pass if everybody agrees. I, I think you, you, you have 
I'm not sure how many committees you have, but you know, up until last year, you supported it with, with 15 supervisors. Now you're supporting that same amount of committees with nine legislators, which can or cannot be overwhelming, I guess you can look at it that way. Um, I, I, I think that you know, committee size is often a discussion in any committee. That the truth of the matter is people have to work together on a committee to have the same goal and present it to the rest of the, of the, the group in, in a fashion that makes sense and it opens discussion at, at the full board meeting. Joseph. With five people, if one person's not here, the committee still functions. With three people, if you, if you take one person that can't attend for whatever reason or is not able to attend, there's two people at, at that committee meeting. What happens? Are you going to make a decision? You have a quorum. You have a quorum. You have a quorum to, to discuss it between two people. And both would have to agree in order to move it, right? Okay. Yes. Well, that, that, I see the plans. That that would hurt the plan. Number two. Any of my committee meetings, and I, I I know Duke's been at some. I wouldn't let anybody speak. I've never restricted that to uh, just the four or five people that are on the committee. So I think. Everybody here should have the opportunity to speak when they want to, and I've always I've always done it that way. So that's my that's it. Sure. Frankly, I think a lot of it sounds at least to me that a lot of the issues we have with committees, it's not necessarily the committees, but with communication. And this first year, this first year we've entertained a lot of special meetings, committee of the whole meetings, things that I. I haven't happened as much in a frequency in the past, and I don't believe should happen at the same frequency in the future. But having the resolution process get a little stricter of saying 10 days and five days, you know, that gives the time for the public, the media, and us representatives to do our homework on that and know what's going on. But when we are holding special meetings and doing, um, you know, chairman approved resolutions. And like I said, there's, this year there's been a lot more necessity to that. However, going forward, if we treat an emergency resolution as an emergency resolution and not just, oh, it didn't get here in time, I think that might eliminate some of the, this miscommunication is thinking back, most of the issues we've had we've had problems with because have been because of communication and the lack thereof and most of those issues have been acted on in a special meeting and haven't gone through the committee process so I think of having the three-person committee you have it and then it, it passes on to the full board and or the full legislature and the full legislature has you know almost a full week to review that and be informed of that with that impact statement <coughs> And I don't think it's really necessarily a, uh, a committee thing, but a communication thing in that the amount of uh, emergency resolutions that probably aren't emergencies other than an emergency and lack of planning. Right. Um, thank you, Chair. <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to clarify that I think we don't want to confuse committees with workshops. The idea of the committee uh, my understanding is to um, value or to um, assess the, the validity of a possible resolution to go to full board. The, the idea of a workshop is to put together the said resolution. Um, and uh, as far as the five or three, um, I don't have a problem with three. The, the only uh, problem I, or I guess I have one problem with three, and maybe we can address that in uh, the rules of procedure is that it needs to be in public. It can't be uh, anywhere else but there. So I would I would support three as long as there was something stated that has to be in this bill or something to that effect. And if I could, what I heard earlier, I heard something mentioned earlier tonight about uh, freedom of information and Robert <coughs> Freeman, and we wouldn't be subject to those rules. And if you think back, and again, I'm not going to call a spade a spade here, the, the one issue that we really had as a board where we fell apart this year on one resolution 
it didn't happen right. It was a, 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 it was a, a bunch of people, a bunch of people, input from whoever, whenever, whatever, but it wasn't done here and, and openly, and then the accusations would come of who did it. Not to go there tonight, I'm just saying, but that's, that's, the, one, that's the one area where we fumbled the football. I agree with Roy, and I said it earlier, I've, I'm all good with three. I just need to know when the meetings are, I want to be able to attend, and I want it to be in public so that the media can be there. And if that can happen, I'm, I'm good with three. So if I may, is there, it sounds like there may be, is there a majority that would support a three-person committee structure if they are all subject to the same meeting publication that we have now? That's what I'm good with. I guess I would look for any objections. Having three members that doesn't constitute a quorum of the, the legislature. So with the, that said committee uh, be allowed to meet <coughs> and talk about items before they come to the chambers here to discuss. It's not a, if it's not a committee without, meeting. I mean, it, there's nothing preventing be three of us from getting together anywhere and discussing anything. Okay. If it's not a committee meeting. Just take note that the very discussion that we're having tonight is would be a good example of what you might not have with if the committee system remains at five. If this was being decided in, in, in a committee of five, it would already be here perhaps before you got to express your position and, and, and have everyone hear what it is. So that's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. Just to follow up on what Jeff said, at a point in time when it's moot and the argument is already yeah. over. No. Well, if we know about the meeting and if we know and, and it's publicized and we know about it. So informally, <coughs> raised by hand, those in favor of having a three-person committee subject to open meetings. That's okay. Um, the only other things would be that I would follow up on that and shoot them down right away if you just want to. Um, you, with a three-person committee working together closely like that, do we want to have committee chairpersons appointing their committee member, their joint member? I think the chair should. My personal opinion is the chair is the chair, and he should just appoint. What are you Huh? <laughs> huh? I'm just saying the chair is the chair, whoever it is. Huh? Is that a motion to make Martin chairman? <laughs> oh, is that what um, you're saying? So leave it as is then. Uh, I, I agree that that should be the way it is. And, and the chairperson can have uh, can have uh, discussions with whoever the chair. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I didn't commit to anybody, so am I going to be a uh, member of some committee? Um, <laughs> to to the insurance thing is that a make or break thing that you want to delve into? I think with the employee insurance being on, on personnel committee, I'm aware right that to follow suit, I think it should stay on physical services. Um, Any it, it, work? Because I think the employee insurance should stay with personnel, and therefore to follow the same you know, structure. Well, I understand the concern. All, all good with that, no huge objections. Okay, I'm set. Under other. Just one thing. Um, I would like to thank Paul and his staff, Paul and Browns, for getting us moved over here, the clerk and the legislative research <coughs> person, and, and also doing the floor. It came out good, and I thank and pass the word on to the Thank you. All right. Um, other, please uh, at the January 1st meeting dress, well, there will be a photo, dress how you want, but there will be a photo uh, for the uh, portrait or whatever, and we'll probably do two, one for the first year, one for the second year. Just a question with that, if we're going to take a first year photo, do we want to add, do we want to invite Alex? I, if he's willing to come, uh, Matt's. I think that's appropriate. Yeah. He'll be lost Absolutely. to the records if uh, if we don't have right. a picture of him. We'll have a split, uh, like a 
<laughs> one over the second. We'll get two. One like this and one like this. Um, <laughs> lastly, uh, or, uh, Jamie, congratulations on your appointment. And I just want to thank uh, each and every one of you for allowing me the opportunity to chair this year. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you did a good job. some discussion going into the meeting about possibly doing something as a group to visit some of the people in the nursing homes that could use some spirit during the Christmas time. I was just wondering if uh, I know that Barbara has, has agreed to with Terry and Brian and Martin to get this right this time. Is there anybody else that would like to join Tom? You said you would join us. So I, I would appreciate it if you. I don't know if anybody wants to hear me say. You just I'll don't do want it. a solo? Uh, don't put me on the solo. I uh, I can play the banjo, not really. Yeah. I make a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second.